Hello YouTube, um, this is CMRS Club and today I'm going to show you guys how to run signaling, well may, this video will be mailing about what do you need for local net and JMRI to run trains basically. Um, this question was brought up by Pons Guys, as you see, Pons Guys and DJ Cool 707 who Pons Guys said, yeah, make a video running trains and DJ Cool said, let's do it, make a video like that. And so, we're going to do just that. Oops, sorry about that, got a little text message. Um, but what, we're, what am I going to be doing is basically showing you what you need for to get it running um, for a layout R size it's just part of it I am using just let's just show you the hardware okay first on your list that you're gonna need to grab very important I mean I'm not playing around grab soda I personally chose root beer because root beer, yeah, thumbs up. Um, on the other hand, you're going to need a computer, preferably a desktop, and the reason why I say desktop, I mean you can use a laptop, anything, basically anything. So, basically why I say a desktop. Desktop has a lot better, more efficient in cooling. doesn't have to be the best. I mean, right here is a Pentium 4. Um, think 512 megabytes of RAM. I mean, not the greatest, or might be a gig. I'm not too sure. Um, we upgraded the video card, as you can see. Upgraded the video card. We have a make sure we had a make sure it had a serial port, USB ports, and of course your outlet. Um, you know we have your keyboard, mouse. Um, for us, we you know, hobby than getting any younger, and so for audience like us, well, not for me, I'm still a little bit young, I can see, we have a nice 23-inch monitor, widescreen, very nice, we paid, I think, 120 something, I don't know, I didn't buy it, the club bought it, someone else bought it, um, we also have a cart from our local, not Home Depot, but Harbor Freight Tools, I don't know if you have something like that, but a discount hardware store, where we bought this car, car um, Harbor Freight Tools, check them out, this car is very well built, well, you know, it's a car, holds what we need to do, um, and that's about it, um, we are using Linux, um, Red Hat, I want to say, don't get me wrong, please, people in the Linux community. I'm a Windows and Mac guy. Don't thrash on me. <laughs> um, what we did, we built a little stand right here, so you have a mouse. So you want to put your mouse. So for the monitor to stand up, and pretty soon, you see that piece of track. We will be having a test track, so you'll be able to test out your like, test your run, like make sure your train runs, make sure it runs on the main line. Um, for our, for today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to use the software and basically how to use the software and let's run a train around the layout without touching the lovely ProCab. This is a wireless ProCab with the inbuilt-in antenna. And as you see, my train right there. You zoom in a little bit. Um, the grain train, as I like to call it, grain train 7510. All I can see is really blurry. There we go. It is what I'm running right now. Don't know if you hear the horn. But we're going to run that without the use of this guy. So let's get started because we're going to be wasting minutes. This might go into a part two session, but get started. Step one, like I said, have your computer ready. And I'm going to plug it in and turn it on, so I'll be back when that happens. Alright, so back to the video. I'm going to power on the computer. 
hopefully everything goes correct. Um, we are using Linux, um, but like I said, um, the program is built. I mean, can be ran on. Well, it can be ran on. What do you think? Oh, we're using Fedora Core. There we go. It can be ran on Windows as well. So, for you Windows guys, don't worry. You can run it. Um, we're just using this because it's free software, using free OS. So, there we go. Should be a way to tilt this monitor down. Boy, that one is cold. Oh, wee. Oh, what's that? Oh, man. Let's get a video. This is Bert. Say hi, Bert. Hi. <laughs> and he has a. Uh, S I'm probably gonna get it wrong. S D forty dash two. Am I wrong? Oh, I don't haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all let you pass. I have not got a clue. I don't know where So we're gonna log in. So, as you see guys, we have GMRI starting, you can see that, I mean I should have never took home my tripod, this would have been helpful, and right there we're getting an error saying it's not hooked up, and that's what I forgot to do, is hook up the cable, so, take the serial cable, I don't know if you're he has one of that, but we're going to run up to this guy and plug him in. There we go, plugged in. We head back here, as you see. Now it read it and it says you're all good. And so, what we do is that we bring mouse up to tools we're gonna go to throttles Oops. and new throttle back out a little bit bring this over here and you have your throttle and so what you're gonna do what we're gonna do since we already have Actually, because I'm running in a different console, it's not, not going to work. Um, new plan. We're going to run this guy. This little SGP38 sitting over here with a whole bunch of cleaning cars. Let's move him around. So, what you're going to do with your throttle is that you're going to go down to address panel and type in uh, the decoder name or whatever you named it which ours is 28, 48, 27 you're gonna hit set it locks it in value and return and to make sure we got it there it is, there it is. I guess you want to go past me <laughs> And let's see what we can do. Lights. So I'm just gonna toggle the lights. And it looks like we're toggling. And so let's give it some speed. Yep. There you go, everyone. You're running the train without your pro cab. And this is all by computer. There it goes. <laughs> 